Do you want that crispy white background every time? Well, check this video out. Thanks for stopping in. Welcome to another Thrifty Indian video. My name is Kevin. Uh, so today we're going to go over show you how to get the crispy white background every single time. Um, so we're going to eliminate the frustration that you have. Uh, no more worrying about white balance, contrast, um, brightness, all that fun stuff when you're trying to get the uh, crisp white background in your photos. All you're going to need is your cell phone and a great little app called PhotoFuse. Uh, PhotoFuse is what makes the magic happen, so to speak. Uh, so we're going to walk you through um, taking the photo in a pretty poor lighting condition, and uh, then we'll jump into the app to show you how you get that crispy white background. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's jump over to the table, and now uh, let's get the picture taken. All right, uh, so we're just down in the basement um, in the headquarters or office, so to speak. Um, so what we're going to do, just uh, as you can see, this is the lighting that we're going to use, uh, which is just the pot lights in the ceiling. Uh, nothing fancy over there, of course, is what we would normally use. Um, so in this scenario, uh, we're just using standard lighting just from the uh, room itself. And then we're gonna put everything right down on this table here. And we're gonna use this mug as our example. Um, so um, let's uh, get the picture taken. Then we'll uh, get uh, the app open and we'll show you how to uh, get the crisp white background. All right, uh, so there's the um, mug. So all we're gonna do, uh, we're just gonna get a quick little photo. Shadows and all, not gonna worry about it. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so now that we got the photo, um, let's fire up the app and uh, let's get that uh, crispy white background. All right, so once you got your photo taken, um, you just want to download the app if you haven't already. It is available on both Android and iOS. Um, and you will have to create an account. It is 100% free. Um, so you just got to create an account and your username. And then once everything is uh, created and you're signed in, um, you're good to go. All right. Uh, so, of course, you got to take your picture. Once you got your picture, you want to go ahead and we're going to go ahead fire up the app just wait for it to uh, load up here all right of course I'll put this on the screen somewhere here but I'll follow along as best we can here so you want to click on the uh, camera with the little plus then you want to go to photos you want to choose our sample All right, so the best way to do it is um, we outline it just with your finger like this. Then once you got it completely filled in, so you just want to go over, get everything covered in yellow. Once everything's covered, you're good. But what you can do, um, there is a little erase button here. If you made any mis mistakes, just click on the erase. And what I like to do is eliminate some of the uh, extra just around the edges just to be safe this makes sure it doesn't pick up uh, any of the the highlights or the shadows and give you any wonky uh, discoloration all right so once it's all uh, filled in and colored all you want to do is hit the finish button right there I'm gonna wait for it to uh, do its thing right now it's fusing it's gonna wait and wait and while it's doing this what we do is we just fire up another photo and repeat that process so that way you don't have to wait each time in between and then voila solid white background nice and crisp uh, so that's it it's pretty straightforward I uh, just got to take your photo load it up in the app do a quick trace hit finish it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy. It eliminates all, all the uh, frustrations of trying to uh, adjust the settings to get that white background. 100 times easier uh, just using PhotoFuse. All right, so that all's, that's all there is to it. Uh, so just pop up a little before and after here. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the results are night and day, so to speak. Um, we did see at the bottom there, just at the bottom of the mug is what I was referring to. So that's where you want to go back and edit and you just erase some of that yellow um, shading that you're putting on the uh, picture and that'll get rid of that little shadow that came up at the end there 
Um, so that's what I was referring to when I said you want to use that eraser to get as close to the edges of the item as possible. That way it will eliminate any dark shadows or anything that were showing up in the original picture. Uh, but other than that, it is pretty straightforward as you can see. Um, and if you did enjoy that content, don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Check out some of the links down below of things that we use on a daily basis to help us out selling on eBay. Other than that, thanks for stopping in. Take care. Have a good one.